There are many theories on the golf swing, but there's one adage that all golfers seem to share. How come I hit the ball so well on the range, but can't take it to the course? Thankfully, the North Shore Elite Golf Performance Academy in Northbrook has come along. They delve deep into that speed bump. Here they start with block training, which is basic golf fundamentals, and then move on to a situational approach, which is known as random hitting. During random, a person will always revert back to what's comfortable. That's why you have the uh, lack of success on the golf course. So what we try to do is coach them in, in increments, in maybe 10 or 20 ball increments during our random hitting. Have them hit, have them fail, and then either watch a video or get them on our TrackMan or K-Vest and show them the difference of what their swing looked like during random compared to block. The Academy has also recently partnered with one of the country's top teachers in Jim Suddy. Here they imply a theory that they are not only instructors, but are coaches with a complete understanding of what it takes to be a better player. It's just understanding uh, when they're on a golf course, uh, what mental pitfalls they might fall into uh, in a pressure situation. Um, but uh, yeah, we evaluate the mental. Uh, we look at golf very holistic. It's not just instruction, it's coaching. Um, depending on the level that you want, nutrition's a huge part of it. But uh, we, we kind of believe everything affects everything. So you, you got to get a full picture before you start working with a student. We think they have a formula that just plain makes sense. Hi, I'm Doc Suddy, and I'm at Will Hill Golf Course here in Northbrook, Illinois. And I want to talk today about something we all have to abide by, and that's setup fundamentals. We need good setup fundamentals to create a good swing. You all will have your own different swing, but setup fundamentals are going to remain pretty much the same. Let's talk about these uh, common fundamentals. First of all, let's talk about ball position. The ball is going to have three places. It's either going to be here for the driver, here for a, a, a long iron and a fairway wood, and here for everything else. So three ball positions. And then the next fundamental we want to talk about is posture. Okay, your posture is going to be, I see much of this when I'm giving a lesson. And you need more of this. See how straight my spine is like this? Want that. Then you also want to have this. Slight tilt to the right. A slight tilt to the right. So posture and tilt and ball position. And then lastly, we talk about the shoulder alignment. The shoulders should be aligned parallel left of your target. Now if you abide by these simple uh, pre-shot fundamentals, your swing will take its own course and you'll have a successful day. Thanks, Doc. Ever since Cantini Golf opened its doors 25 years ago, it's been recognized as one of the best courses in all of Chicagoland. Its 19th hole is just as solid and boasts a top-notch menu as well. Chicago's Best 19th Holes is presented by Michelob Ultra. If you've played Cantini Golf, then you know how special it is. The entire facility is first class, and if you neglect to enjoy its 19th hole, then you're not getting the whole experience. After a round of golf, it's a great place to come. you got a great view of our, our 18th hole, the, the, our signature hole, the Dick Tracy hole, number nine on Lakeside. But the, the food here is fantastic. It's always a great atmosphere. And one of the things I like best in here is the variety of the menu. They're doing some steak tacos and uh, uh, pulled pork sandwiches. Now my personal favorite is the grilled and blackened tilapia sandwich. And uh, that one always, I, I get a, a little fruit with that. It's, it's fantastic. Our menu, we uh, focus on scratch cooking and uh, really challenging our cooks and our guests. We don't want to just serve some basic things, but what we serve, we want to have is the best we could put out. Our burgers are all fresh Angus beef. Um, same thing with a buffalo burger. We're not bringing in frozen patties. We're hand forming um, patties. We have the nachos, which we've had for years, and it just keeps getting better and better. And then we have some great appetizers. We have ahi tuna, which is a phenomenal appetizer. We have a cutting board, which has got a different salamis and different cold cuts, and it's, it's great just for a bunch of guys sitting around talking and not wanting to have a big meal. 
There's incredible variety on the menu at Cantini's Fairways Grill, but a great 19th hole cannot survive on food alone. At the bar, you'll not only find an eclectic array of brews on tap, but also an impressive selection of some of the finest whiskey and scotch produced. My favorite is the scotch cabinet. I like the, the small batch bourbons we have, the single malt scotches, which are probably some of the best in the, in the western suburbs, if not the best in the western suburbs. If you're someone who appreciates the finer things in life, then Cantini's 19th hole is the perfect place for you. The food and libations aren't the only treats at Cantini. The museums at Cantini Park are also a must-see. We appreciate you tuning into the September edition of Chicago District Golfer. Please visit cdga.org for more information on the Sunshine Through Golf Foundation and all things golf-wise going on in the land of Lincoln. We'll see you on the links.